Hi guys, Tony here. Hope you're all well today. Right, I just have a, a couple of things that I want to um, put forward to you. <laughs> um, don't worry, I have got clothes on. It's just that um, I was really cold earlier on when I came in here because it gets really cold in here. Um, and then I got like really warm. <laughs> Because I was, um, I'm actually doing, uh, I'm in, entering a competition at the moment, which is uh, run by Haley B over at Sparkle uh, Stitch and Stick Cod. I'm going to have to learn that, you know, because like, you know, we've been friends for, you know, a year or so now and I still forget her, her channel. Um, but if you hop over to her, uh, I'm sure it's Sparkle Stitch and Stick. Yeah, it is. Haley B. She's doing a competition, um, a, a clean up your work um space you know uh you know like your, your craft like clean up your craft <laughs> something like that um so i've been in here past couple of days um i have done a video of what it looked like <laughs> which when you see it you'll wonder how, how anybody can get a craft room so messy it's unreal um i've just finished off the couple of bits um and now i've you know and i've just got to um, do another couple of things and then I'll do a video of it as I've done it now believe me this is good for me because I um, I'm not very good at I won't say that I say things and then I don't do them because I do eventually <laughs> um, but it she's actually give me the kick up the ass that I needed because um i've been in house and i've been moaning to dave saying i gotta get that summer outside gotta get that summer outside and he says oh, god did you do it then and i go um oh, i can't be bothered it's like that <laughs> uh so thanks Ailey. you give me a, a, a kick up the ass there to actually do it and it's done now so i'm really proud of myself um i've had no help i've done it all on my own um i've got I, you know, when I bought things from the works, I was struggling for containers to put, you know, things in. Now, I've got a really great big box. You see that um, that box up there? It's a unicorn box. Normally, I had a pink box up there. I don't know if you remember. Um, well, that pink box now is full of empty containers and boxes, you know, plastic boxes that I've had stuff in because I've thrown everything out. Um including all the books that i made unfortunately and um, you know i sold the odd one here and there and there was just you know getting ruined you know through damp and stuff so i what i'm going to do now is if anybody wants a book and um, they'll have to give me you know a week or so to do the book and i'll do it that way you know made to order if you like because you know it's just ridiculous i've had to throw them all out but I must admit, um, I feel better now I've thrown them all out. Uh, along with uh, handmade cards, I did handmade cards as well. I've thrown a hell of a lot of them away, you know. I've kept a few because I've put them in packs. Um, you can see them over at Books of Fancy Folding if you want uh, packs of cards. They're usually in a, te a 10 pack and some of them be different. There's Christmas, Valentine's, Happy Birthday, Daughter, Mum, Dad, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Father's Day, There's, you know. Um, and happy anniversaries they're in packs of 10 so head over to books of fancy folding they're in there i've put some in there so i did keep some behind um just so that you know i could um sell a few okay now i am um, i've already done this video once for this item that i got sent to me um for a review and i've lost it i can't find it <laughs> so i'm having to do it again Okay, so I got sent this um, Angularzer template tool. Um, they asked me if I could, you know, just... Uh, it's, it's a measuring ruler, but it's multi-angle. So they sent me it and said, will you review it? And I said, yeah, like I said, I've done this video once, uh, but I can't find it. I don't know where it is. So that's the box, and then it comes like this. I think a lot of people might have seen these, um, you know, because they're not, uh, they're not like, my little wheels come off there, they're not uh, uncommon, are they, you know, right, 
Okay, I'll just put this, my little wheels fell off. <laughs> so I'll put that, oh, wrong one. I'll put that back on. Uh, they are very good, these. Um, I had one of these years ago. I couldn't tell you what happened to it because that, you know, like everything else, everything gets thrown out and stuff. But this is what it is. Um, like I said, people will know because they, they've probably had these. But they're, it's a multi angling ruler. Now, it's got inches on the bottom. And that's inches, yeah. Inches on the bottom, centimetres and millimetres on the top. And it's got that on every one every bit of the ruler there now like i said one of these years ago and, and i don't know where it went and um i was really glad when the company said will you try this because um you know when i'm doing uh, albums sometimes i i there's a there's like a you know a really small opening like this and i can't i can't get to it so I'm really glad when the sister me will you do it you know and I says yes I will because I know how good they are um now I I don't think I had a plastic one I think man was metal something tells me man was metal anyway I've never tried the plastic ones but I'm if they're as good as the metal ones then I would highly recommend you get one especially if you're a crafter like I say you can get them small you know really small angles look like that i mean you know you couldn't do that if you tried now the other problem i had before before i got this was when you do uh, mini albums the corners you know when you cut the um dp down uh, it, and the corners and i couldn't do it and there's a girl on youtube um sweet bio design the caller and she does a lot of good things and she made a corner now I've seen them everywhere now everybody's using them uh, I'll just show you it's one of these you know and you obviously put it on the corner and then you get you know your straight corners brilliant you know I don't know if she if she like invented that shall we say I don't know but I thought what a good idea and I made one myself so I mean I mean it's not hard you know it's on a uh, cardboard uh, I don't know the measurements of it but like I say uh, over on Sweet Bio Design the caller I don't know what her, what her name is she's foreign I think she's Italian but I'm not sure and she'll have all the measurements for them on there but before that uh, when I used to do them I used to use this you know and I got pretty accurate with it as well to be fair uh, like I say it's got four wheels on it there so if you wanted to keep that you know you put it in a position and obviously screw them so it don't move that position like so like so so there you go look at that it's brilliant isn't it i mean i you know like i say i had one of these years ago and i loved it so if anybody wants one of these they are on amazon um i will leave the link below if you want to get one of these but uh for a crafter you know um i would highly recommend them because they're just the brilliant you know and you can get every angle you know you can even get a really awkward angle you know what i mean which you think when you think oh, i won't be able to get that you can you know so if anybody's thinking about getting one i would highly recommend you do especially like i say if you're a crafter um because they tend to like I say, get into them little nooks and crannies. There we go. So, I'll, like I say, I'll leave the link be below. But it's uh, an angleizer. Angleizer, did I say that right? Template tool. Basically, a ruler. Um, yeah, um, it's a multi-angle measuring ruler with metal screws. Uh, metal screw threads for tiling. Cutting bricks. I didn't know you could cut bricks with that. You wouldn't be able to cut bricks with it, obviously. You'd have to, it'd have to be a measuring, measure, you know, angle, uh, angle measurement ruler for craftsmen, builders, handyman, roofers. Well, there you go. I didn't read the back of it, to be fair. I maybe should have done, but I didn't. So, 
there you go and i'll leave the link below for uh, that okay i have got another uh let me think i don't know if it's one or two another one or two reviews uh to do like i say i've been in here past three or four days so um in fact it's been that bad yesterday um i don't know what time it was it'd be late afternoon um, I said to Dave, I, I'm going to have to go out because if I don't, I'm going to murder somebody. <laughs> Normally, I'm out every day on my bike or whatever I'm doing. Even if it's just to go for a ride, you know, to the uh, Humber Bridge. If you live in Hull, you'll know where that is. But the Humber Bridge, for sure. And then come back again, you know. But I've been in house all the time because I've been doing my houses as well. Um, and also, there was houses in here... The, I, I bought some houses and, and two houses come the same day so I did them and then and then another two come so I did them then I came in here and I had unfinished houses in here to do so I took them in house and I finished them now I've got um, just a furniture to put in a windmill one um, which will go up for sale when I do it and there's a castle that I'm doing at the moment and I'm also waiting for another one um so if anybody's interested in the mini dolls houses they're on books of fancy folding as well um also along with the ones that i've just finished i'm trying to put this right and i can't let you do it now let's undo this uh the good thing about it as well is if you cock it up you just take the, <laughs> take the things out you know and then you're uh you're done again so like i say i have got another review oh i'll put that there because if i don't i'll chuck it i have got another review coming up uh I don't know if it's another one or another two, you know. I can't bloody remember. I really can't remember. It's just totally gone out my head. Anyway, uh, I got some uh, things from uh, the works. Uh, I stuff that I've 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 bought before. Um, I got some of uh, these. I'll show you these because I haven't had these before. And if anybody can tell me, I bought this from the works. It says pom-pom magic now is it me being thick which in essence it probably is but uh, what how, how do you <laughs> do you wrap it around the middle or something you know what i mean it was a good idea at the time and then you no know. so if anybody can help me with that thank you <laughs> in advance i also got some of these um I got talking to one of my other crafty friends um, and they were saying about um, fabric paint and I've never I've never really used fabric paint because I've never made anything to use fabric paint anyway um, one of my friends had seen uh, what do you call it on YouTube I don't know if it was on YouTube or on Facebook she'd watch something and people was using old t-shirts and and you know i thought oh god what a good idea so i saw these in um the works now they are is that focusing uh this this one is white obviously and uh the column so soft dimensions and it's a glossy writer for fabric you know so I got a white one. <laughs> uh, I got this one. This one's purple, but it's glitter. Although it doesn't look glitter when you when you look at the bottom. It was drink kind of no glitter in there, but it does say glitterator for fabric. So I got a purple one. I got a blue one, which was also glitter. Yeah, because that's glossy. That one that it says there, and that's glitter. It says so. I suppose we're about to find out, aren't we? Uh, this one's a glitter one it's crystal I'm not really sure what that one is either but it says crystal I'm sure I'll find out once I you know start writing with them uh, festive green that's also a glossy one um, what's this one this one's orange glitter one I'm assuming they've got glitter in I mean oh yes they have I can see it now I don't think you'll be able to see it because I don't think my camera will zoom in. I don't know if you can see that. It's just 
sparkling a little bit anyway i can see it when it's close up here it's glitter i got a black one another glossy one i got another glitter one gold i can actually see the glitter in that one i don't know if you can see just the bits there here we go you see just the bits here that's a glitter one gold uh, festive red another glossy one and a pink one glitter now like i say i've never used a uh, fabric paint it's not a thing that i've used because i've never um i've never like add fabric and just fit in my little pot <laughs> I've never had, I've never made anything that uses that so you know I was a bit uh, I was a bit confused but uh, my friend said you know if you want to use it use it because it's really you know they really are good and check out these pages I think a lot of them are on five minute crafts uh, which is on Facebook I think um, I have looked at a few what you can do with old jeans and um, Somebody had, had got um, a load of old t-shirts and stitched them all together. That she'd cut like um, she, she'd cut the front of them if they had a motif on. She'd cut the front to a square, you know, for so much. Stitch them all together and then put some um, backing on them. What's what's the what's the word for the backing? I don't know what to call it. Um, and I was like, oh, what a really good idea for a, a little uh, you know a little daft blanket so I was like I was quite <laughs> I was impressed um so anyway I'm waffling now so I like I say I've got another review one or two reviews coming up I can't remember and also the um, clean of the uh, craft which if you want to enter like I say is over on Hilly B Sparkle Stitch and Stick and um, I think the rules are on there as well, what you have to do. I don't, well, they're not rules. I think you have to take a video before and after and send her it um, through email, I think. But it's all over on her channel if you want to have a look. I'll leave a link below for this um, ruler. And um, I ain't really got anything else to say because, I have, like I say, I haven't done anything. Um, so... I'll leave it there with you and um, don't forget hop over to Ailey's channel and enter if you if you want to do your clean clean craft craft clean whatever the bloody hell she called it okay guys <laughs> um, I will probably see you tomorrow with the next review um, so please subscribe to my channel and make sure you flick that button over so you will see when uh, on your notifications when another video comes out and please give this video a thumbs up uh, all right guys i will see you very shortly have a great rest of the day and i'll see you tomorrow i love you lads bye bye for now